Here on Shakum Gaming, we love Undertale, and we appreciate all its characters equally, right? Well, wrong! Today, I'll take seven beloved Undertale characters and ask my community one very important question. Would you date them? And here's what they had to say. First up, someone who has no idea whether anime is real or not, who loves it when you get analytical with her, who will romance the heck out of you just to prove a point? Undyne! But would you date Undyne? 3 out of 5 scars, because meh. 2 because she would kick my ass. 1 because she smells like fish and we can have two of those in my bed. 3 because she has sharp teeth and, well, you know, wink wink. And finally 5 because she looks cool, her attacks are cool, and she is fla... fla what? What is she, dear viewer? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I've just been notified the viewer was tragically headshotted with a spear. So let's quickly move on to the final score before we have any more casualties. Undyne, you get 14 skulls and... The E-tier of the Shacken Gaming community. Next up, a social media expert, a television enthusiast with strong opinions. The one who always watches your progress in a totally non-creepy way. Alphys! But would you date Alphys? 3 out of 5 skulls, because she'll give me fun anime facts all the time. 3, because we do not know each other very well. 5, because we both like anime and we both are scientists. 2, because the b rejected me for Undyne, but she gets one point back for having good taste in partners. And finally 3, because she's almost as bad a choice as Undyne, but they do come in a pair. Wink wink. Alphys, you get 16 skulls. And... The D tier of the Shacken Gaming community. Moving on now to everybody's first ever relationship. He is lean, green and mean. And he is the only one who understands that in this world it is kill or be killed. Flowey! But would you date Flowey? One out of five skulls. Because he would murder me before we even got to our first kiss. Two. Because I'd rather date Sunflower from Plants vs Zombies. One. Because he's a plant. Another one. Because I just don't like him. And lastly five. Because my dietitian said I need something green inside of me every day. Flowey, you get ten skulls and... The F tier of the Shacken Gaming community. Back to the Animal Kingdom now with a snail enthusiast. A butterscotch and cinnamon pie specialist. The mother you've always wanted in healthy but also very unhealthy ways. Toriel! But would you date Toriel? 5 out of 5 skulls. Because mommy goat, butterscotch pies and snails. 3 no explanation given and another 3 because goat mom. Thick, furry, fun art. 4 because she's a mother figure and I'll be labeled a furry if I say 5. And finally another four, because she reminds me of my mom, which reminds me I need therapy. Toriel, you get 19 skulls and... The B tier of the Shacken Gaming community. Down to three characters now. Next up is a fellow content creator. A guy who marries you, then kills you just for the views. Someone who does not need arms with legs like these. But would you date Metaton? 4 out of 5 skulls, because of the wealth, fame and power. Also because if she dumps me I can always sell her for spare parts. 3 no explanation given, then 1 because she tried to murder me during our honeymoon. 5 because legs. And finally 5 because look at the ram of that thing. And also the legs. Metaton, you get 18 skulls and... The C tier of the Shacken Gaming community. And now, it is time for the two finalists to assert themselves. In the left corner, it is the pride of the Royal Guard, the Spaghetti Specialist, the most persistent test, 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 test skeleton of them all, Pop, 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 Pyrus. And in the right corner, it is the Pan Specialist, the dude who has two jobs yet barely works, the skeleton that can guarantee you have a bad time, Sans. But would you date Papyrus or his brother Sans? 
5 out of 5 skulls for Papyrus, because he is the great Papyrus. <laughs> 5 for Sans, because he is Sans. 4 for Papyrus, because I just like him. 4 for Sans, because his puns are fantastic and really punny. And who wouldn't want to hear this fantastic punny puns? 5 for Papyrus, because he reminds me of Skeletor. 5 for Sans, because I'm a version of Sans and so it would be technically like dating myself. And that ain't such a bad thing, wink wink. 5 for Papyrus, because he's cryptic, childish and full of puzzles, but mostly because of his spaghetti. 2 for Sans, because he reminds me of Elijah and he's also a pain in the butt to beat. And with Papyrus leading by 3, his final vote is... Only one! Because I need to somehow make this competition interesting, damn it! <laughs> While the final vote for Sans, as he needs five skulls and five skulls only to win this exceedingly cringe competition of mine, is five skulls! Because he reminds me of Elijah too, but unlike the previous guy, I welcome the pain. Not in the battle. So Papyrus, you get 20 skulls and the A tier of the Shaken Gaming community. While your brother Sans gets 21 skulls and the ultimate S, or otherwise known as Sans tier of the Shaken Gaming community. Thank you everybody for watching. Good night, YouTube!